Welcome back everybody. As you see, I am here on the Orthoblox server. I've got a few of my little friends here just sort of discussing things. So our season, this is season three, we are starting to wrap things up so we can move on. As things always happen, you always uh, come to a point in the season where you need to finish things up move on and get ready for the next season. So today I'm doing a little bit of a cleanup. And first up, I'm putting in a, there's an area over here by the pig farm, which is not very um, aesthetic. It's kind of overgrown, hasn't been had anything do, done to it. So what I'm gonna do is go over there, clear everything out and put in a, some housing and some gardens just to make it look a bit nicer.
Well, that time lapse took a while, but I've got my new area over here done. Past the crazy, crazy house. We come down here. We have our little piggy pin over there. And I just tried to make a nice little garden area with a few houses in it. So you can come through here. I've just added in plants and flowers all around. Got, I love these trees with the little leaves falling. Added in a few houses. Tried to stick with the same uh, kind of terracotta style that I've been using. Nothing specific or particular about these just uh, some beds we've got a little area out here we can sit and look out on the uh, the bay here watch the fish uh, watch the fishies swim around and stuff i found one of these uh i guess these are the uh decorated pots so i guess that's like a sniffer i guess that's looks like a tree maybe i'm not sure what that's supposed to be I've got a few seating areas here. I tried to mix in all these, uh, lots of these big trees that have the hanging stuff on them, like the mangroves here. I got some jungle trees around here. This is a little bigger house. I tried to go a little more experimental. Kind of just uh, taking a fling at it while I can. Oops, well that's not going to work. There we go. So I just uh, tried to just use the uh, the blocks I had to come up with a nice little palette. So I don't think that design matches. Yeah, see the design here, I guess the only one I think is off would be maybe this one up here. Is that going to be? No, I think it's going to have to be... No. How is that going to go in there? Maybe it goes this way. So if I do that. No. I hate these blocks. Because you can never get them right. So if I go that way. So I guess it's that way. I wish they were uh, adjustable. You could place them and then use a wrench or stick or something to rotate them. So I guess that's not too bad. I, at least those all go in the same direction there. And this is actually the design I want on both sides, but you can't do that. So. And nothing much in here. Got some couches, some plants, some seating, tiny little kitchen. But I think uh, this would make a nice, pleasant little park. You could sit, walk through here, relax, read your book while, uh, you know, enjoying the trees and the atmosphere. I figure these cherry blossoms, I wonder if they have an odor. I don't know if they have a nice smell. I'm going to imagine they have a nice cherry smell. So you sit here and it smells nice and sweet. Got this uh, room here, tiny little one room with a, a view of the bay. I thought of putting a deck out there, but just just didn't do it. And then this road just wraps around here. So we have a, this is a house here and one more house over here. Overall, I think it came out fine. It's more for aesthetics, so the houses don't need to be functional or have anybody living in them. And I just had this little peninsula out here. I thought it would be good to make a, a little walking garden through. So that is uh, one part. I think that's all that finished over here. And actually, I think this whole side of that, I do believe I am finished with this side of the build. As we come up here, I've got, you know, all this is done. Oh yeah, and I did spend a bunch of time over here working on this. So this is all done. So yeah, so but everything over here on this side of the 
the island is all uh, all taken care of. So that's actually something I accomplished. I really don't have that much uh, to finish up. No big projects, just little things like this field here. So this field just needs planting. have that field in there like I said not very much to do for tightening up things but that field is looking a little bare so once it grows it'll look really nice come here past the skeleton into our last little project or at least one of the last projects and this is going to be a, just a simple berry field looking for things to finish work on. I'm going to leave this sort of undeveloped. But on this side, I want to continue kind of changing it over, making it a little more lush and uh, a little more overgrown. I think the best uh, approach I can do to that, I think I'm just going to moss this thing up. I mean, not super moss, but... I think I can uh, make it look a little nicer if I, uh, if I go through here and just sort of turn all this into moss. Now this over here is going to be a river. I'm trying to think. There we go. Trying to find the water sources so I can. We we'll just sort of have the water come out of the hill here. Let me get some rocks and build up a like a little cobblestone hole where it comes out of. So the water will just come down like that. Uh, I just love the way the water just fills in. Once you get a few strategic blocks in there. It just does all the work for you. There we go. Yeah, if we just have this all filled in with water, 
Makes it a little swampier through here, but let's get rid of this. I don't think I need that. Yeah, I'm feeling this is going to ruin my sugar cane. I'll make it a little swampy savanna. Yeah, I kind of like it that way. Now I can continue. I'll just keep, you know, I'll just keep um, spamming this mossy, mossy grass around here, and that'll take care of this little hole. You know, I got a lot of island here, and I don't think I'm going to get to even half of it with uh, anything resembling a growth or terraforming or anything like that. So, so this is probably going to be it for the season. It is June, so that means summer is well underway. We are busy, got lots of outdoor activities to do. There is a new version of Minecraft coming out, which our next, ver our next uh, season, season four, is going to be on the next version, the one, 121, I think it is. So we'll have to get ready for that. So after I wind things down here, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. I probably have one more episode on the way, and that will be an overall tour of everything. So I'll just, I'll go through here and show you, you know, kind of details on what we have built here and, you know, just give you an overview of everything so you can kind of do a recap, even though I've like, what, 14 episodes, that's not much of a recap, so... It's not too many episodes this season, but hopefully I'll get a few more done next season. Um, I kind of started this season without an idea. I'd have no idea what I was doing. So this will show you what happens when you have no idea what you're doing. And you just start building. So look for that new uh, video out in a week or two. And uh, I will thank you all very much for watching. I know other Unorthoblox server members have uh, are wrapping things up and releasing final episodes and a few things like that. So uh, check out all of their uh, videos. Links in the description below. And until next time, have a wonderful day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.